Oh, we've got a big thinker. I might have to sit down for this. <sighs> a person taking their time. Okay, so they've opened up all this space here towards their king. So I'm just going to slide the bishop through and put some pressure on my king. And simply just take the piece off the board. Just make some space for castling. Don't see there's any problems there at the minute. Obviously this kind of arrangement works best for them. So we can't go here because it's got like the pawn and the knight on there. So let's just bring the knight out, keep it simple, supporting the pawn. To watch these sleeping type openings you know they look calm and quiet and then suddenly they come out and upset your rhythm obviously this is either coming here or it's coming here one of those because he needs to let the bishop out unless of course they're going for you and chat him and this person is taking so long over these moves so it's um they must be practicing for a tournament. <laughs> I do remember one particular tournament I played in and the opponent was an elderly gentleman and he was, uh, I think he was winning, winning in my section and <laughs> the way he played it just it must have sent everybody to sleep that's how it won because he just he took about and it genuinely felt about five minutes for each move right from the very beginning and they were obvious moves as well that he made which was really good i ended up getting a draw with him um but it was kind of like an infuriating draw because every every move was like dude that's a simple move let's get on with this and just let's go for lunch <laughs> you know what I mean it's like um, but yeah I mean he played well he actually ended up winning the tournament from playing that way but um, <laughs> I, when I'd finished one of my games I went to go see his game because he was always one of the last ones to finish if not the last one to finish uh, in his games uh, you just see the frustration on people's faces it was like it was like a proper boa constructor, you know, just wrapping himself around his opponents a bit. Oh, it's my go. Um, a bit at a time. He is going, she or he is going for the Fianchetto castle. Yeah, so it was quite painful to watch his opponent squirming because they could see it coming. They were, it was obvious moves he was making, but they just didn't know how to get out of it and with the speed at which he played it was really quite painful them sitting there taking the hits and they just couldn't do anything about it okay we don't still have this so i think what we're going to do is try and just come through here now because he's looking at end game wants to keep these center pawns so that then they've got the center pawns to champion coming through that's the sort of style that I, I'm kind of aware of so I've got to picture in my mind the guy that I played in the over the board game where it took about five minutes each move don't get caught in the fact of oh he's moving so slow I'm just gonna whip out my moves take my time as well and just have a look and see you know Nine times out of ten, the players he played, they just whipped out the moves.
because they were getting that frustrated with the position or, or the speed at which it was moving basically and then they just fell foul of being in bad position now all of a sudden they can move quickly with the castling so we do have sights of bringing this here to here but we might just hang fire on that just for a moment let's bring this bishop here maybe we can set it up it's small potatoes it's nothing major let's attack in the night so it's got she's got speed or he's got speed now we can come here to attack the pawn i'm just thinking where do we go from there his knight obviously is going to move so that his queen is protecting or the queen gets into the game let's go here i'm a bit miffed because i'm moving away from their king yeah so he moves the knight we've got a two on one on the pawn bishop can take pawn takes queen can take where does his knight go then because the bishop really could take it now couldn't it could take but then the pawn takes if we take with the queen and say it does take back then we take here then we're on a pawn his knight's going to want to escape oh he's going to take this pawn here because he's got a two on one on the pawn mm. our knight's going to be here though isn't it going to take and what did the knight do then uh, it took did it so it took the pawn so if we take the knight the knight comes round is on our queen it's on the queen and it all looks simple really it's just we both know he's going to be owning the file we do have a knight here but the knight would be ended up taking this knight his knight then takes and he's managing this square we take this rook takes rook comes across hmm or do we take first rook comes across rook comes across knight takes uh, i think that's probably looked better but then oh we're losing out pawn pushing down Ooh, might have not have been right uh, gonna get the pawns doubled aren't we okay yeah I have to go quiet now it's a move order thing and is my position okay not too sure not too happy I'm just watching well I was just watching um yeah same arrow yeah could attack but where do we go from there because then his rook just comes and attacks we can't go here so let's take it's a move order thing I don't know if we we're trying to save ourselves and the thing is if I go I'm gonna have to go here around to I don't have to because I've got to check on his king but then I don't have any support with my I'm gonna have to go here mmm and then come round the back or if he comes here da -da -da -da. okay maybe not don't need to panic too much just yet because his bishops biting on granite so it's probably gonna have to move his knight somewhere what's he attacking 
Hmm, interesting game, interesting game. Bishop does have a little stealth, but we're just keeping it here for now. It's not a good position for my knight. I probably shouldn't have jumped it over to this side of the board. I should have probably stayed around here. I did say it didn't I? but I'm a bit miffed that my knight's having to move over here. I don't think it had to, maybe I should have developed a little bit earlier. And they are coming down for it. Okay, so coming here shouldn't really be too much of an issue. Let's go here. Could look to attack the knight if anything. Probably looking to double up. So he needs to free his bishop up. He's looking for something that his bishop can do. And obviously what the knight can do. Because it doesn't look as dangerous as it really wants to be. Does it go back up again? Don't know, don't know. So it needs to get onto a white square to get onto a dark square. That that looks quite nice actually, that there. And then coming back here to attack the bishop. And he's also attacking the pawn. So if we know that, probably pushing this pawn here. If that happens, maybe. would be nice to get here but it's not going to stay there for, there for too long so in essence you'd probably give it a plus to wear um, white for the position because they're owning the file more so than what we are because we don't have anything major supporting our rook and they've gone into like a 10 minute thing okay so definitely do not do a fast move even if it looks obvious to me um, let's have a look at all of the position and see if there's something a little bit better than what the opponent gives so yeah they're attacking the pawn it's got no protection on it the issue is is that we take got a check on his king his rook takes then he's definitely owning the file our rook can't come here to then own the file but if we're comfortable with having doubled pawns we come here then his knight takes then the pawn takes Hmm, no. Take, takes. I've got a little soldier here. Takes, takes, push on. Get the knight away. But even if we do go here, he's still going to push this pawn, isn't it? Attack the rook. And he takes the rook. Takes. Rook takes the pawn. Rook takes with a check, bishop here. Yeah, that's a bit messy, isn't it? So do we not just push this pawn first? He's looking to do this business. Tuck the knight. 
maybe he's looking to do that anyway knight goes here bishop takes rook takes Do, 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 do. What is his knight? His knight not got a check, has it? No, no, no. I think that's probably where he's going. He could always go there, and he can always go back. Let's attack the knight. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. Let's see how that wears out. Need to take a break after this one. So, how do we get back from this um, not too advantageous position for us? This is what we that's what I'm thinking. How do we do this? It does capture, okay. Um, let's capture, uh, oh. So we do take, his rook takes, then we've got to check on the king. We went through this pattern, didn't we? Bishop goes here. Push the pawn up. Is he feeling good he's got a bishop? Hmm. Okay, so we don't need to take the, the knight. I think I am gonna, but uh, if we go out attacking stuff, it just comes around. Dun, 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 dun. It's opening up this bishop. This pawn is going to be attacked by the bishop. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. It's just where am I sending him to? I'm sending him to here. And he's got a gap here. He's got a gap there. And then this pawn is undefended as well. Ooh, okay. Right, so definitely moving that. Or taking here. I'm probably going to rule the day. I don't take the knight off the board, aren't I? Takes, rook takes. I don't have to put a check on his king. I can push the pawn here. Because he's obviously going to be looking to push down to win that tempo to get this pawn with his bishop take he takes attack this pawn he drops hmm something's telling me to just take that knight just take the knight. This is too fancy, I think. As he comes here, I've got the world of hurt on me, really, haven't I? Yeah. Let's just take this off the board. I don't want to be sorry saying, oh, I let him get fancy. Just take it off the board. Okay. So he's still on this pawn. We did say that I think the simplest thing is just pushing this pawn here. If we go, then at least the bishop is off of the diagonal off there. Let's just put the check on. So it's momentarily not having that force onto this pawn. Obviously his rook's got the force on this pawn, but I, mean, I think we're just going to try and keep it as simple as possible. I think just push here. Those are the things. He's got pawn majority on this side. We've got pawn majority on this side. So we have to be mindful of that. You see, this is the type of thing that that guy did in the tournament. It's an obvious move. There's nothing else that can be done apart from the bishop coming here to defend the king and they take five minutes over that move how annoying is it 
you know but it's legal because it's within their time frame they could go outside go and have their lunch and stuff you know within their own time so that's something key that you definitely have to note especially if you're thinking you're winning and you're going oh yeah come on come on come on and the person just takes the time you can't force them to go fast so while they've got their time going you do your calculation but then it's really annoying when they don't do what you expect them to do but in this case here it's pretty straightforward that they're coming there but I don't it's not clear that there's a real big massive benefit other than the rook is targeting this pawn bishop's going to have that diagonal obviously the king is going to want to get to here so it's off of the pin so we're kind of winning some type of tempo in their movement but it's not like there's nothing major we do have a nice flexible knight which is a little bit trapped at the moment so we're having to do simple moves which is just basically moving the pawn here so simple move pushing the pawn if he pushes what they're probably thinking that they're being clever is if we push here and then if they did push onto the pawn if we took then the rook would come down here and get our knight off the board so that is something to actually think about as well so the thought process is bringing it here but he still does the same thing brings the pawn down so the, the pawn is going either way so if we push the pawn and as we say they're looking to push down we don't need to take we can readjust and maybe bring the rook down here yep so if we bring the rook down here if he still does take then I suppose the rook can take looking to see if he's going to exchange or not but then he flies across here because he's looking for the back rank he'll become a cross attack is that right? Has the, we go up he comes down we go down his bishop's free so I've got to be careful of that Do, do, do. we go down say I don't know if he's gonna take probably not because he'll wait for us to take so that his rook can come down the bottom so if he leaves that like that and say he brings his bishop back again uh, everything's landing on a white square isn't it we'll bring the knight here to try and get it activated to attack the rook either here here okay I think that's what we're going with there's nothing much else and the rhythm seems to work that way if they're wanting to get an advantage unless they've got some other kind of magical move like I say I think the king's going to be moving so that the bishop's got freedom in fact if the king's there then he's, he can't come here to defend the pawn or get the x-ray through so he'd have to come round the back somehow so that wins us again a bit more tempo I'm hoping fingers crossed but this is the move that they're wanting to get off because they want their rook to come here get a check on take our knight off the board fingers crossed we, the tempo works for us timing wise but if the king does move does that mean we could actually move the knight and then if he then whoa okay it's all this if 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 throwing my brain off he's probably looking to exchange the rook off then isn't it coming here after all that
Yeah, I think he's just coming to look to um, exchange off the rook. Maybe he's come to defend the pawn as well. Maybe there's that sort of thought process. Yeah, they don't look like the type of player to just exchange a rook off. Mind you, if he goes there, then the bishop, if we take, then the bishop takes. Bishop's out in the middle. Try and get this onto a dark square. really don't know but let's get this knight moved I think we kind of I don't know have we circumvented it or not have we made it worse no if he drops then we can push onto the dark square with the pawn with the support now he's moved so he's definitely not doing that <clears throat> so now we could move the knight up oh I'm getting excited can you hear the excitement in my voice so now we do have space for the knight to move because we've won those tempi those kind of key tempo that we were scared of losing here but his bishop is ready to rock and roll I am on a white square as well with my rook if we go there then he pushes down we can still come down here can't we and we're on a dark square and it's well at least we would have elevated our knight up a bit being stuck on the back can it go here so it does have the element of attacking the rook on that side does it go there it's blocking these this pawn though and it's blocking it onto a white square which isn't really what we want but if we go here smaller piece can attack the higher piece if the pawn does go there we can bring the rook down for a check not going to go there because the rook is man the knight is managing this square and we could get his rook off the oh no but we'd lose the knight as well oh good job we taught that one through hmm so it might be a bit dangerous going here knight up pawn pushes down knight comes here King attacks it. Yeah, that's no good, is it? Oh, telling me that I have to come here. Hmm. Could go for a simple attack here onto this pawn. Obviously, defends. Come back up with a check on the king. Hides into the corner. back attack the bishop and then he comes here and he's being awesome again no nope, don't want them apples I'm not sure not sure I don't it's looking like this night move is not going to be good for us so maybe we don't do that maybe we come here but I'm a bit miffed that I'm having to block my own pawn What mm -mm -mm -mm. about our own little pawn move here? I oh, mind you, then even if I did go there, he can still come down. We take and he replicates with the pawn here. Oh, I don't want to block the pawns. Is there another rook move of some sort? don't want to end up trapping my rook do I do 
does it just come all the way back? No, just leave it there. Bishop attacks it. And then it comes here, the bishop. Hmm. Maybe we just bring it here then. And then it's not going to be doing the dance. This small potato I magic could still just come here, couldn't it? Blocking my rook. And then my rook can't play it up or down. If it goes there, knight can jump here then. Attacking the bishop. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. Just going to bring the rook here. After all that calculation, it's most annoying than the finder like a magical move. You go, God, I spent all that time and why didn't I see that move? I really need to take a break, you know. Come on. I can't say come on to this guy. He's, um... Oh, check on my king. That was a bit obvious, wasn't it? So I bring the king more central. His white square bishop's looking to be a bit of a menace. I did think he was going to block it, but uh, that's not happened. Okay, so we might be able to manage that if this leaves his bishop there, it gives us a rationale for bringing it here. He looks like he's trying to squish us somehow with his bishop. And I don't want to be on a white square. That's the thing. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I think they're still slightly winning. The flexibility of our knight should stand us in good stead, really. Because I'm a fan of both now. Um, I didn't used to be a fan of the bishops, but I'm a fan of both. Uh, I used to be an, a knight man. But they both got their strengths in different scenarios. Yeah. So this is definitely one for practicing for the over the board type game. Doesn't look too magical with the moves, looks fairly human to me, looks um pretty steady away. If I was looking at this game and it wasn't my game and it was somebody else's game, I would I would say I would give the edge the edge slightly only only slightly and this would be against what the computers would be saying. I'd give it to black. They'd give it to white because they've got the bishop. Yep. Whereas I'm I'm thinking there might be something in here. So we could come down and attack the bishop. So what's he actually really wanting to do with that manoeuvre? Actually get my um, piece off the board. We would potentially still be owning the file. So I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's just going to bring his bishop back. Move order, move order. We attack the bishop. Does he do something funky? Attack the pawn. We take the bishop. Takes we take his rook takes like two pawns for the bishop or something some some crazy madness like that attack he goes we take if he takes takes the rook is still going to be there isn't it yeah so he's just going to hide his bishop into somewhere or either just put it back here maybe sit it here maybe not there because we can chase it but maybe he's just wanting us to keep all our pieces on white squares just have to be mindful here or here here 
back to when he came, but he's blocking his rook from actually helping. This is going to the wire, this game, isn't it? Oh my days. See, all the previous long games haven't really even gone the near halfway point. And so my brain's definitely not used to playing this long, long game here. I'm like still thinking, come on, just make a move. But that can mess you, that can mess your game up. Can mess, uh, so he's wanting to keep all my pawns on. White squares, I don't want that. Maybe if I come here. Hmm. So if we attack it, it just goes back one or two. So we go boom, he goes one, then we go boom again, then he goes one, and we're all on white squares at this moment. So we bump up one to be on a dark square, but then this one's always on a white square. Whereas if we do this, now if we do that then he's got like this little sitting area here, hasn't he? And my king can't get up, so he could be looking at some sort of back rank checkmate thing. No, I'm not having that, no, 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 we're not having that. We don't want him sitting comfortably there and we can't get it out. We'd have to get the knight in. Whoa! Damn. God, that frightened the life out of me when I was chit chatting. So he's got his pawn majority on this side now. He's going to have to be championing that. I'm hoping he's got sick of himself taking so long. Let's, um. Is it a pawn maneuver? Right, what did we learn from these pawn things now? If we attacked, then we're just giving up a pawn. Come here. In the defense. Yeah, we don't want to be giving up a pawn, do we? King opposite the king, pawn maybe? Might just call it a draw, really. Might call it a draw just now. I'd be happy with the draw, you know. Ah <laughs> oh dear. The, maybe they don't know how to work their pieces together, but at the end of the day, I still think it potentially is a draw. It's going to have to bring his king into the into the fold. Do you know, I missed a trick. I missed a very important trick, you know. My rook could have gone here, attacking one or two of these pawns and he can't defend both. So I don't know if I've got time to do it now because if he takes, we take, his rook takes. And if we take one of these, then he just comes down with a check on our king and then he gets the pawn in the far corner over here. So I've missed out. Damn. Oh dear, kicking myself now. Capture, capture. Capture, capture. So we still have the pawn majority on this side. He still has the pawn majority on this side as well, so it's no biggie. Uh, we can push. You can drop. 
Right, concentrate. Um, that was a missed opportunity. I would have been up there quite nicely. Okay. So now I'm having to work too hard now. Push. I don't think it takes. It drops. Like I say, this pawn will be taken, so we might as well push this up. push this up because when he comes down here his passes are a bit well his passes are a bit further down the border now so we need to see if we can get this up Maybe we should have put the fret there, and then he takes, then we take, and then we're up. But we couldn't do that at that point because his rook would have come down and got this pawn because his rook would have been able to come down and put a check on the king. So that was the rationale behind this move here. I think it's if we, oops, excuse me, if we do do that, he doesn't have to take, he could just bring his rook here. And then we can do it. What's this now? What's this? It's looking to challenge the pawn that way. So if we come push. See, he does take. Then we take. Then he comes down for it. <sighs> yeah, that doesn't look too good, does it, actually? If we attack it, it doesn't have to take, goes here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Or if we go up, go up, he comes down with a check, bring the rook back down. goes back up we attack the rook he attacks we go back he takes our rook we take hmm I don't know I don't know attack the rook he comes across it looks a bit active, doesn't it? Comes across with the check. We come back. And he takes. I don't think he's going to take because his king's all the way up there, isn't it? We take. Then he moves his king down. Then we push on. Okay, I'm going to give that a try. Thinks he's being clever. Coming across. We come here. I don't think they're going to exchange though somehow. Or yep, yeah, okay. Let's just move like we said. He moves back, so it's a draw. Yep. Yeah. Looks like we're both going for a draw on this one. And I don't really see a problem with it being a draw. It's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I think in the Olympiad, uh, they're basically sort of like demonstrating that you know, you know, the draw off a of thing. They're de they're definitely just playing out the games and actually demonstrating that it is a draw, which I think is really good because people can make mistakes. Um, but not today. I think this game's gone on long enough now. This is a massive recording. For it to end up in a draw, it's fitting. This player's style is so slow, but hey, I don't want to over egg anything just because they are slow. Now they're thinking of the Olympiad, they're going, Well, no, I want to see if I can get a win. Okay, please do.
because that's probably where you'll probably come unstuck hopefully fingers crossed <clears throat> looking for the magic there is magic but obviously not today I'd be surprised if he takes, he's not going to take, he's going for the draw, she or whatever Anastasia's a woman isn't it, name, lady's name although you can't really go on that because Rebecca Harris is um, is a bloke so let's go here and it's a draw excellent that was lovely that was like a real proper over the board game type thing that was and and quite fitting it's ended in a draw um nine times out of ten i'll, I'll end in a draw playing over the board um we take losses as well um but it's you know the wins we've been developing trying to get those wins so i think this really typified a proper over the board game person taking the time um i think if i post this one everybody's gonna fall asleep but hey what can you do um, that's the art of chess um if you're wanting to play these quick fast games online then you you're not really getting into the art of chess it's about learning patience it's about understanding your own personal character during the game as well if your character wants to just play speedy fast moves you're definitely not going to be into playing over the board classical chess type thing um classical chess is where it's at and yeah i'm really pleased with this there probably were some advantages or whatever that could have been taken in the game but i felt like i'd done in done what i needed to do to try and keep my position and not really make it any worse my opponent did well keeping their position and not making it worse for themselves shall we take a look at the analysis and have a look i believe it is a draw i'm just going to take a look and see what this computer says and it's not shifting from there zero 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 yeah not moving one bit right now I said didn't I somebody showed me this game that I would probably give it to black at whatever stage somewhere around here and let me see if I'm close or totally talking out of my okay so it was probably around about here wasn't it if push came to shove he's got a, uh, yeah I was probably if he did do that I'd just take his rook off the ball but that would have been draw so the king moved uh, just wait for the gauge bar so it doesn't really like my rook move and it's not really a fan of the bishop move either it's just flashing up a draw and we've got a bit of a minus situation going on no it's back to a draw again it's struggling to find stuff and it's a draw again right so yeah I was slightly over egging my own calculation-ish I thought slightly in my head that I had something but it was all based on if the opponent really did make a mistake and then I think they got fed up at that point and then it's a draw from here but oh, oh, oh look oh that's the point when I missed it there that's the only point throughout the game where my brain fell asleep because all I had to do was come here and just get one of these pawns off and that would have given me the slightest of advantages that I would have needed against this player ah yeah that was the one time it was only one so capturing capturing oh we've got minuses and pluses going on it's all the smallest of point twos and stuff like that minus four yeah yeah that's no good that's nothing oh we've got a minus two here do you know in my head i was thinking of coming this side but the reason why i didn't do that was because he's got a poor majority on this side and I thought to myself I need to keep my king here acting as a blocker against his extra pawn on this side I genuinely was thinking of coming here I didn't say it I just thought well it's a draw so we'll just keep going backwards and forwards 
but I subconsciously I thought yeah we could go here oh that would have given us a win oh so we're on the rook although again still frightful of this pawn here this player wouldn't have done that I don't think they would have pushed their pawn they, they would have probably brought the rook here putting a check on the king again wouldn't they so if we sunk that in mm, 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 mm. oh it can't go anywhere can it nice position oh I'd set myself on the fact that it was a draw and blocking off the pawn need to change that then because we do get these positions not all you know when we're playing longer games these come up more often got to take that chance but then <laughs> I bet you any money if I'd have done that yeah I would have ended up losing with the pawns here but no that looks quite nice that pretty simple wasn't it so go in there boom oh it's too simple when you think about it can't move the king because it'll take the rook Look at that, oh my gosh, that looks so simple now you see it. <sighs> Lessons learned.